sometimes diving just sucks. Here's how to pick the good ones. Reading the ocean and picking the good days isn't as hard as you may think, and being able to read the ocean's conditions on any given day will give you valuable insight into where the best dive site is on that day. The factors that influence our tide in the ocean include water visibility, swell, wind direction, tides, current, and being able to interpret all of this information will greatly improve our time in the water. Starting simply, water visibility is simply a measurement of how far we can see through the water. On a good day, in some locations, that can extend up to 30 to 40 meters. On a bad day, however, you're unlikely to be able to see your hand outstretched, particularly if the water looks like that. Visibility is altered by particles in the water, salinity gradient, and other matter that is dissolved into the water. And generally speaking, the better the visibility, the better our dive is. To predict visibility, we need to assess swell and wind direction, as well as tides and the location we wish to dive. Usually, the smaller the swell, the lighter the wind, and the higher the tide, the better the visibility is as there's less chance of particles being stirred up in the water. As an example, right now we're down here at Maroubra Beach, and looking at Google Maps, we can see that it faces east, and has a headland to the north and the south. This means that we should be entirely protected from swell coming from the west, coming down from the north and up from the south, and very exposed to swell coming in from the east, pretty much exactly like today. Meaning that on an easterly swell like today, where the swell comes in, this would be a terrible place to dive. Another example is Shelley Beach in Manly, and as we can see, it's exposed to the north and the east. Meaning that diving Shelley in a northeasterly is probably gonna be a very bad decision. You can probably predict based on the map and its location that the best time to dive Shelley is when the swell and wind are coming up from the south. Similarly, the size of the swell also plays an important role in affecting the ocean conditions and visibility. Generally speaking, a swell size of above four foot is usually enough to sweep in enough particles and stir up the ocean bed enough to result in bad visibility in most dive sites, even affecting sites that are actually optimally placed for that swell direction. Conversely, a swell size of one to two foot shouldn't affect the ocean conditions and visibility that much, even in a badly placed dive site for that swell direction. But in an optimally placed dive site, a swell direction of one to two foot will result in some pretty crisp conditions. Finally, I usually like to dive most dive sites on a slack high tide purely because there's more water in the water column and more water that dilutes any particles that might be in there. The slack high is also a great time to dive just because the water's not running in and out and it's pretty still, meaning you're probably gonna get some good visibility. To get access to this information, a simple Google search should be a good starting point. There's plenty of resources around which will give you swell, wind and tide information. And then simply look at Google Maps and compile the information as we previously discussed to predict the dive conditions. In Australia, Sea Breeze, Willy Weather, Coastal Watch, and Swellnet are great resources for this. It only takes you a few minutes before each dive, but it will greatly improve your time underwater. Get out there and hunt some good visibility.